Let's go ahead and start the show. I am that handsome creeper. And with me is, go ahead and introduce yourself. Eric Rasmussen. Eric Rasmussen. So I called you Rasputin one time earlier. Yeah, actually. I get called lots of things. Uh, that sounds like you're like a villain. I get called lots of things. I do get called lots of things, but I'm used to it. All right. So normally it's the part where I tell you what I've heard about you. Okay. But other than the fact that you're an awesome guy, uh, I haven't heard much about you. I guess I didn't hit the streets hard enough. Again, this is one of those cases where my shaft act failed me. I, I couldn't hit the streets hard enough for you. <laughs> but uh, go ahead and just tell us a little bit about yourself. All right. I'm <laughs> new faculty here in the public relations department. So it's not my fault. So it's not know. your fault. I've only been here like two months. All right. Uh, I'm a Buckeye. I came from Ohio State. I'm also an Oregon Duck. And I'm also a Red Raider now. Oh, uh, so you have a lot going on. Okay, so first, you know, we go. Uh, I don't know if you watched Off the Wall. Actually, I think you have. Yep. Because it's the best show ever. Shameless. All right. So first question is, what's the type of student you don't like to have in your class? That you rather they get an attitudinal adjustment before they uh, come, or characteristic adjustment. All right. I don't like the student that doesn't come to class and then uh, wants me to come and wants to come check their grades with me and wants me to tell them how they can get better. You go to class. And you put the work in, you'll be fine. Okay, all right. So, A, show up. You know, that, that, that's all you gotta do. You know, it's not much. All right, so next question, another plan question is, what class is your zone? You've only been here two months, so I guess you right. haven't got out of zone. But if, if you had to say, mm -hmm. if there was a class you heard that you think is your zone, what would that be? All right, so I've only taught a couple classes here at Tech so far, and mm -hmm. the one I'm really enjoying is the graphics class, the graphic design class. Kids come in, they've mm -hmm. never seen the software that we use before, yeah. they learn it all and they think that it's me that's teaching them all this stuff, but it's, I mean, their learning curve is really sharp and so they learn things really fast mm -hmm. um, and it's really nothing that I do, but uh, there's good students here so I have fun with the students in that class. So graphic design, that's mm -hmm. your boom, mm -hmm. vector, watch out. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Next question, and this is going to be a, a one that I don't know if you're going to answer to, so yeah. I feel like it's too, too soon, but... What's the class students to look out to have you with? Like the class you're going to be teaching in the future that your students would be like, oh, I think I should take this. All right, so I think students who um, who don't know what they want to major in yet, mm -hmm. um, I'm a good one to introduce them to what public relations is. Okay. Um, give them a good round, uh, uh, an overall view of what it is, and make it fun. Okay, yeah. all right. So, now we're done with the play questions. Are you ready for this? I'm going to go a little off the wall. All right. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. First question. What were you for Halloween? Nothing. I hate Halloween. You hate Halloween? One time, and here's the reason why. <laughs> the last time I dressed up for Halloween, I was an antioxidantist, mm -hmm. and nobody got it. I don't get that. See? It's, That's why I hate Halloween. Maybe your costumes are complicated. <laughs> What's an antioxidantist? Well, you know what an antioxidant is? Yes. I was an antioxidant. I was combined with a dentist. That's that's too complicated. I know. See, you overcomplicated your joke. You, it's kind of, I like <laughs> I like to maintain some form of dignity too, so I don't dress up. Oh, uh, okay. All right. All right. So you're like the people who um, try to come off with everyday things, so it doesn't look too silly. That's right. Uh, uh, so like, my dad used to be like. Oh, I'm still your daddy. That's that's my costume. Yeah. I'm I'm a better version of your daddy right now because I'm taking you out to get candy. <laughs> Do you prefer students to dress more casual or professionally compared to like very comfortable with the track pants or the pajamas or something like that? As long as they come to class, I don't care. You don't care what they wear. Nope. All right. Next question, off the top of my head, have you ever wanted to do something? crazy that you felt was crazy if you told somebody like you know, something that just popped in your head like I really want to do that but that, that's not me that's crazy that's a good question I asked a good question that's a good question you're doing your job um I don't know how to answer that question the thing that comes to my mind is I want a motorcycle you want a motorcycle it's just like the, but it's not that crazy, you know. But it's not crazy, but it sounds midlife crisis. <laughs> uh, Everybody's seen those episodes. I know. Uh, so what was it Boy Meets World or uh, Step by Step Family Matter Full House, <laughs> where the dad's just like, "I got a motorcycle." Everybody's like, "Calm <laughs> down, Dad." <laughs> so I got kids, right? I got four kids, and uh, <coughs> you you, you get more conservative when you become a dad. Mm -hmm. So one thing I've always wanted to do is work get a motorcycle. <laughs> So this is, just to clarify, this is not midlife crisis I want a motorcycle, no. this is just, I want to change it up. I don't want to be that, I don't want to fit into that stereotype. Well, and I want to go to that Harley festival in South Dakota. Do you like Harleys? Well, if I was going to get a, you get a motor, you get a Harley if you get a motorcycle. 
That is, that's mm-hmm. not a rule. That's not a thing. Right, well, that's my rule. That's your rule. Yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, taking it back to the classroom. All right. In class, are you okay with students who just have private conversations, like while you're teaching? How do you feel about that? As long as they're not making it so other people can't learn. Okay. So, right. uh, and uh, I mean, as long as other people can pay attention to what's going on, I'm fine with that. Alright, okay. They're the ones that pay the tuition. They are the ones that pay the tuition. If they want to come and listen, they come and listen. If not, yeah, it's up to them. It's all up to you guys. The power is yours. What's your favorite actor? John Heater. Napoleon Dynamite. I know. That, really? Yep. Why? Because where Napoleon Dynamite was, that's where my family's from. That's where my folk is from. Oh, oh <laughs> so it's like home. It is. And he, in the movie, wore a shirt that for a college called Rick's College, I went to that junior college. You went to that junior college? Me and Napoleon. Wow. Wow. So, wow. That's, yeah. that's actually kind of awesome. I know. That's, do you own the movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that was amazing. You felt so much like home. And I, used, was I used to own the movie. I lost it. Oh, but you have a giant... And I have a Napoleon... Dynamite doll. Bobblehead. Oh, oh, hold up for this camera. Yeah. Can, yeah, perfect. That's... And that's why he has it, because he's proud. And he didn't vote for Pedro. I, yeah, yeah, I would have. All right, so three more questions before we uh, round this up. First one is, if you had a theme song, what would that be? I don't know, does Captain America have a theme song? Captain America, yes. Yeah. Captain America raises mighty shield. That would be my theme song. Why Captain America? Because... You are a fan of Captain America? Do you have a Captain America tattoo somewhere that we no, just need to know? I have a t-shirt, though. Ah. Captain America. Uh, I like to think of myself as Captain America. Steve Rogers. I like to think of you the guy who drives a ship from Firefly. Every time I see you, I think of Firefly. Firefly? Yeah, the guy who drives the, you, like, you, the show Firefly. You ever watch it? I've never seen it. You remind me of a certain type of actor, but not really. It's like, you know... The good looking one. I, you, you dates the hot girl, so yeah. <laughs> so, all right, Captain America, Steve Rogers. All right, I got you. I understand. Or Canned Heat. Canned Heat? That's the song from Jamiroquai that Napoleon dances to. Oh, that's... Uh, That'd be a good theme song. Okay, so uh, taking it back to the classroom for the second to final question is, do you ever have a moment in class where you're just like... Whoa. Yeah, well those moments don't come from me, those come from the students, I think. When the students are engaged and they're teaching me stuff and they're teaching each other stuff, when I'm not actually doing the teaching, those are the best moments. And then you get that. Whoa. Yeah. That, uh. uh-huh. All right, so final question, so i got to make this one a good one. All right. um, can you... And will you sing a theme song from a show in your childhood that you can still remember? I'll sing it. Did you ever see Thundercats? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thunder, 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 cats. Dun, 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 dun. Before we go, anything you'd like to shamelessly promote? Yeah, if you want to study kids in media, come to my office and we'll study kids in media. We've got some good stuff going on. Good stuff. Good stuff. Anything you can talk about right now? Just a few quick seconds before we. Uh, we're showing kids the Biggest Loser to see if it makes them eat more M and M's. We are um, asking college students about what they think of pornography, um, PBS shows. We're showing kids PBS shows to see how they how they affect kids. So. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Wow! Are you working with um, Rebecca? Yeah. Ortiz. You are. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, yep. Let's. <laughs> Off the wall. Uh, it was off the wall. This is the best one yet that you probably won't see the best parts of. <laughs> but, no, it was great. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. I research kids and media. Mm-hmm. So what, uh, how the media affects kids. Okay. So I've shown kids Spongebob and it makes kids more aggressive. Um, I'm working on... Spongebob makes kids... It does, more. it really does. Even si- It was a six minute clip of Spongebob and it made kids more aggressive. I just think of his laugh now. I was like, it does sound like a battle cry. Yeah, 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 you know exactly. 